We're outside the chemistry clinic where students can get help from upper level chemistry students with any of their general chemistry and organic chemistry needs. The chemistry clinic has a variety of resources including textbooks and test item files that can be used for free to prepare for tests. Perhaps the greatest such resources are these test banks. These test banks have thousands of practice questions that will prepare you greatly for any test. We're here with JP, a tutor at the chemistry clinic. He's going to help advise us on what we can do to succeed in general chemistry. What steps would you recommend students take to get an A in this class? Well, before the class actually begins, I highly recommend that you brush up on your algebra skills because general chemistry, by and large, is just ratios and proportions. So if you can solve ratios and proportions, you will be able to do well on 80 to 90 percent of the course material. And everything else is just a little bit slightly more complicated algebra than that. What did you do to succeed in this class? To succeed in this class, um, I, I, what I did is I did all of the online homework, I did all of the questions from the back of the book, and then I found a friend who had used a different chemistry textbook and actually did all of the questions from the back of his textbooks as well. Um, because while there are people who can come in and just do the assigned problems and pass the course very easily, most people do that, so it takes a lot of hard work to actually make a good grade in this class. What would you recommend to students who are struggling with the course? Come to the chem clinic. Um, we are the best free uh, service available on campus to help you improve your grade. Most people who come to the chem clinic average a letter grade higher than students who don't. So that's really my best advice. This is V, a tutor at the chemistry clinic. She's a biochemistry major. Okay, my first advice is um, to study your material before class. You also have to go through your notes um, right in the class. And it's the best way um, so that you can know your material uh, and you don't have to um, study so much for um, before a test. My best advice is to seek help immediately. Don't wait to the last minute. Don't wait to the final. Uh, the night before the uh, test, I would go over the test review and um, assimilate myself with um, the type of questions that you know, he is going to ask on the test. We're here at the Chem Clinic with CJ. CJ is an undergraduate student here at UTA. CJ, how did you succeed in general chemistry? Um, most by using my resources. Um, UTA is very good about that. They give us the chem clinic, they give us chemistry views. Um, another way is getting in a, a group, usually about three to four people, working out old tests. Um, usually the uh, weekend beforehand, we'll, we'll get together for about you know five hours, just, just going over other tests and seeing uh, if we have any problems that we run into, maybe one of us can explain it to the other. What would you recommend to people who are struggling in the class? I would definitely recommend coming to the chem clinic. They are very patient. They, uh, they're more willing to answer any questions that you have. They're very good at explaining the questions that you have. Did you find the homework problems helpful? Uh, mastering chemistry is actually very useful. Um, a lot of people say they don't like it, but I, I tend to learn a lot from it. I would recommend that you read the chapters before and after class. You'll find that you have a far better understanding afterwards, and going into the lecture, you'll be far more prepared. Make sure you get an early start on your homework assignments. You'll find that waiting for the last minute will always lead to disaster on the tests. Go to your professor's office hours. Even though the lab seems like a small part of what you're doing, it actually has a big impact, and if you let it get away from you, it could seriously affect your grade. An important thing to do is make sure that you start your lab reports early. Don't wait until the last minute because they are longer than you think they are. Make, writing a good conclusion especially is what kills a lot of people. In addition, a lot of the labs have complicated graphs that need to be computer generated that you won't have the time to do right before your lab. Don't blow off the reading for the lab. Make sure you read the labs beforehand and have a good idea of what's going on so that way you don't fail the quizzes. Another good reason for doing your lab early is so that way your TA can check over it before it's due and tell you if things need to be fixed. Another
Another resource you can use is the SI program, or Supplemental Instruction. This is a free program that the senior level undergraduate students put on to try and help people with chemistry. They do lots of things like go over homework problems, and test reviews, not to mention that they'll take any and all questions and answer them as best they can. SI is a really good thing to have in case you don't exactly understand what your professor is trying to say and you need a different perspective. Remember, all of these are just suggestions. There's no one set way to know how to study. You're going to have to find that on your own. Once you do, though, make sure that you study long and study hard so that you can do well in chemistry.